Well, we'll begin today sitting in a comfortable cross-legged position. And you might like to pull the flesh of your buttocks back behind your sit bones so that you can really root those bones into the earth. And we'll take a breath in and roll the shoulder back and down as we exhale. And if you're comfortable closing your eyes, please do so. And feel your hands resting on your legs. And let the arms and hands relax. Let the belly relax out and down. Just letting go. And see if you can let go of the legs. Let them release toward the ground. And see if there's any tension in the face, neck, shoulders, that you might be able to just melt away. And then feeling into your body for your breath. Begin to breathe deliberately, slowly, fully. Filling the belly, the ribs, the chest. bottom to top, breathing out from top to bottom. Notice parts of your body that might be able to relax a little more as you exhale. We'll start to circle the body around at the hips, tucking the chin and rounding the back as you exhale through the back of the circle, lifting the chin and the chest as you inhale across the front of the circle. And back to neutral, sitting tall. Shoulders relaxed. And then have the hands facing down on the knees and pull toward the knees as you inhale and bring the chest out, the shoulders back and the eyes up. And then exhale, rounding the back, pulling the navel toward the spine, dropping the chin to the chest. Moving with your breath.
taking your time so that you complete the inhale and the exhale. And then on your next inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Relax the hands, bend the elbows and let them draw. Relax your forehead down toward the ground. And focus on exhaling all the air out. Letting go of the body as you let go of the breath. And then filling that emptiness fully with your next inhale. Spreading the breath wide across your back. On your next inhale, roll yourself up, reach the arms up, exhale the hands together at the heart, and release the hands. Note the cross of your legs, which leg is in front or on top, and then release the legs, shake them out. If your knees get stiff, you can up your knees a little bit. And then we'll cross again the other way. Sitting nice and tall, sit bones down, shoulders down, crown of the head pulling up. And then we'll take the arms out to the side bend the elbows, and then inhale, pull the elbows back, exhale, bring the elbows together, palms together, inhale, lift the elbows up, keeping them together, exhale, release down, inhale, elbows back and cactus arms, exhale, elbows together. Keep the elbows together, lift them up. Exhale, release down. Continue like that at your own pace. One more. Relax the arms down. Roll the left shoulder forward up, back and down. And then the right shoulder. Relax, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold over your legs, drop the elbows, relax the hands and arms, 
Pull the belly toward your spine as you exhale all the air out. Let go of the weight of your head, your torso. Focus on breathing deeply. As much in as you can and as much out as you can. On your next inhale, roll yourself up, reach the arms up, exhale hands together at the heart, and release the hands, release the legs, shake them out. And we'll bring the right foot in to the top of the left thigh, flexing the left foot, really pressing out through the left heel and pulling in through the toes. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, just look up. Exhale, release the elbows down, release the head down. Do that one more time. Inhale, look up. Exhale, belly in, head over, arms relaxed. And then push down into your left thigh, pressing the back of the leg into the ground. Inhale, the spine longer. Exhale, belly in. Lengthen the breath, lengthen the spine. Activate the foot. Beautiful. Inhale, rolling up. Reach the arms up. Exhale, the right hand down to the ground behind you. Push into the hand. Lift the hips. Left foot touches down. Hips press forward. Head drops back. Arm drops back. Breathe long. Maybe aim the right ribs up a little bit more. Maybe press into the top of the right foot to get the hips under you a little more. Beautiful. And release the hips down. Turn to face the right, reach the arms up, exhale, bring the left arm down inside the left leg, right arm over, reaching to the left, and then press the back of the arm to the inside of the leg, rolling your ribs up and to the right, the left ribs come under you, reach out of that right hand. Sinking down to the left. Good. 
And inhale up. Exhale the hand down. And then bring that left leg over the right leg. Hands around the knee, pull the knee toward the right shoulder. If both sit bones are not able to be on the ground in this position, then you want to straighten your right leg. You never want to twist without a, a, a flat, even foundation. So if, if your left sit bone is popped up, that's not going to work. Just straighten the other leg. Good. And then as you pull that knee toward the shoulder, lift your head toward the sky. Reach up with the left arm. Inhale. Get even taller, longer. Stay tall. Turn to your left. Bring the hand down to the ground behind you, nice and close so that it keeps you propped up. And then press into that left hand and lift even taller. And then exhale, turn the belly to the left. Inhale, press down to lift up. Exhale, turn the ribs to the left. Inhale, press down, lift tall. Exhale, chest and shoulders rotate. Inhale, tall. Exhale, reach your eyes back behind you. And then you can keep holding on to your knee with your hand, or you can hook your elbow over and then bring index finger to thumb, and then try to place that mudra hand gesture at your chest. You can close your eyes and continue to reach back through your eyes. And feel the long line of your spine lifting as you inhale and relaxing inside as you exhale, allowing you to maybe turn a little more. And inhale back to center. We're going to walk that left foot over to the right, bringing the knee kind of over the other knee. Some of you can. I can't. But you get the idea. Good. And inhale the right arm up. Exhale, bring the hand to the upper back. And then we'll bring the left hand to the elbow. Inhale and kind of pull the elbow over to the left a little bit. And then exhale, press it down. Beautiful. Now release the left hand, bring it behind your back, and walk it up your back, reaching for the right hand. If you can hook the fingers together, go ahead and do so. If not, just walk the hands up as high as it'll go. Breathing in and out, deep and slow. And inhale, release the arms, reach them up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Relax the head, hang the elbows down. Spread the breath wide across your body. up as you inhale, reaching up, exhale.
exhale the arms down. Release the legs, bring them around to the front. Shape them if that would feel good. And then bring the left foot into the top of the right thigh, flexing the right foot. So the heel really extends out away from the buttock and the toes pull in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, whole body over, arms down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, elbows drop, head drop. One more time, inhale, look up. Exhale, belly in, head down. And then try to press the crease at the back of your knee to the floor. Pull back and down through that right thigh and out and forward through the spine. Inhale, get longer, exhale. Just collapse over yourself. Let all the effort go. Trust yourself to let go of the body as you let go of the breath. Long, smooth breath. Inhale, rolling up, reaching up. Exhale, left hand down to the ground behind you. Push into the hand, lift the hips, plant your right toes on the ground. Bring your hips forward, drop your head and arm back. Roll your left ribs up. And if you can, press into the top of your left foot. Maybe you can bring the hips under you even more. Breathe into the openness. Notice if it feels vulnerable, if it feels hard to breathe. It might even feel scary. Just stay with it with some real loving presence. Breathe with it. And lower the hips down, tucking that foot under, turning to face left, arms up, inhale. Exhale, right arm comes down inside the leg. Left arm reaches out over to the right. Press the back of the arm to the inner thigh. Roll the ribs to the left. Reach the hand to the right. And then inhale up, release the arms down, cross the right leg over the left. And again, if the right sit bone doesn't root down like the left one does, then please straighten your left leg. There's no point in having an ego about it. You're, you're just not going to be as... Um, grounded for the pose. So we'll bring the hands around the knee and pull the knee toward the left shoulder. And then lift up tall. Beautiful. 
Inhale, right arm up. Keep lifting tall, tall, tall. Stay tall. Feel the belly rotating as the hand comes down. Push into the back hand to lift taller. Exhale, feel the ribs rotating. Inhale, press down, get tall. Exhale, rotate the chest and shoulders. Inhale, head reaches up. Exhale, eyes reach back. And then you can keep your hand at your knee if that feels supportive, or you can cross the elbow over, bringing index finger to thumb and moving that to or toward your chest. Continue to lengthen upward as you inhale and relax as you exhale, turning with the ease of the exhalation. Inhale, back around to the front. Walk that foot, that right foot over to the left, moving your knees as close to being stacked as you can. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, bend the elbow, place the hand on the back. Bring the right hand to the elbow. Inhale, pull the elbow over to the right and then exhale, press the elbow down. Release the right arm and bend it behind you and walk it up your back. See if you can grab the left fingers with the right fingers. face pose. And release the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Relax over your legs. Let the head relax. Feel the shaft from your shoulder to your elbow releasing down. Let the hands just rest. And let the breath be deep and full. Inhale, lifting up, reach up. Exhale the arms down, bringing them behind you. Lean back, release the legs, and take them out nice and wide. Keeping the hands behind you, press into the hands, lift your sit bones off the ground, and then bring your hips forward. Flex your feet, lift your chest, you can stay here or if you feel like you can and you want to, bring the hands in front of you and start to hinge forward at the hips. So really important, hinging forward at the hips doesn't mean rounding your back. You, you can try it and you'll notice that as soon as you do that, you're not stretching more, you're stretching less. So you're actually getting more of a stretch by keeping the spine straight and tall and not going forward than in rounding forward. But if you can keep the spine straight, the chest lifted and hinge at the hips, then go ahead and do that. Nice.
just one breath at a time. up. Exhale the hands to the outer legs. Help them back around to the front. Shake them out one more time. Beautiful. And then cross the feet at the ankles. Flip over your feet onto hands and knees. So we're going to keep working with the hips. It's, it's an intense hip day. <laughs> we're going to bring the right foot forward and keep it to the outside of the hands. And then drop the hips down. Good. And then bring the tailbone forward. Lift the chest up. Drop the left hip toward the floor. Press down into your right toes. And then bend the elbows, lowering down. If you can come onto the elbows, feel free. If you're low enough, you might be able to stack your fists and rest your forehead. Keep dropping those hips as you exhale. And press yourself back up. Bring weight into your left hand. Bend your right, bring, bend your left leg and bring your right hand back, grabbing hold of your left foot. So it might initially be easier if you come out of the lunge and kind of send your hips back. It might make it easier to hold your foot. And then once you have your foot, go ahead and Bring the hips forward again and try to pull the heel to the buttock. And then look back over your right shoulder, bringing your left ribs toward your right knee. And then come back around. Bring the leg back. Walk the hands a little bit to the right and step the left foot forward. Drop your hips down. Have the knee lined up over the ankle. Lift the chest. Bring the tailbone forward. Press into the left toes and bring the right hip down. And bend the elbows. Lowering as much as your body permits. 
If you come onto the elbows and you like to stack your fists and rest your forehead, that might be nice. And try to keep weight in your left big toe so that you're not mm, swinging the knee out. Stay connected to your breathing. It's not just that the breathing helps open the body, but when you pay attention to your breath, when you breathe slowly, it soothes your nervous system. And that also, of course, lets you relax more. Good. And let's lift up, taking weight in the right hand. We'll bend the left, the right knee, and bring the left hand back to the foot. And again, shifting the hips back might be helpful if you're struggling to grab the foot, or maybe you have a strap if you can't grab it still. And then the hips come forward as far down as you can. And pull the knee, the heel toward the buttock. Roll the left shoulder back. Look past your shoulder and aim your right ribs for your left knee. Steady, smooth breath. Bring the hand down, send the leg back, and then come lay on your belly, please. Resting your forehead down on the ground. Just take a few moments to feel your breath sinking you into the earth. Feel the hips getting heavier. And then clasp your hands behind your back. Roll the shoulders in toward each other. Straighten the arms. Reach back through the fists and lift them up. On an exhale, press down into the hips. Lift your head. Reach back through the hands. Lift the chest. Breathe into the ribs. Press down into the tailbone. Release down, relax the hands, turn to one cheek, let the heels fall out, unless it would feel better to let them fall in, just relaxing the legs, staying connected to the breath. Bring your head back to center. Bend both of the knees and grab hold of the feet. And again, if you have trouble reaching your feet, please have a strap. If you reach your feet easily, you might grab your ankles and then flex your feet. And then really press down through your hips, your pelvis, your tailbone, your pubic bone. Root into the earth. Inhale, lift your head. Roll the shoulders back and in. Kick the feet up and back. 
If this is too strenuous for you, then you can do the same pose that we did just prior to this and clasp your hands the opposite way. Keep kicking up and back. Inhale, lifting the ribs. And release down. Turn your head the other way. Relax your heels out or in. Feel the body breathing with the earth. Place your hands under your shoulders. Bring your head center. Press your hips back to your heels. Keeping the arms out in front. Pushing forward through the hands, back through the hips. Walk the hands over to the right. Press the right hand into the ground beside you, sending the left hip back. Walk the left fingers out even longer if you can. And then take it over to the other side. Press into the left hand, sending the right hip back. And then reaching out long through the right hand. Breathing on through the right side. And come back to center, arms extended out. Keep the hands where they are. Lift the buttocks off the feet, spread the fingers wide, curl the toes. Inhale, exhale, lift the knees and keep the knees bent. Press the hips back, bending the knees. Imagine that you're resting your belly onto your thighs. Relax your head down, pull the shoulders down the back, press the left heel into the ground, keeping the right knee bent. Press strong and forward into the hands. As you push the hands forward, that left hip lengthens back and then you can sink down into that left foot. Bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, press the heel down, press the fingers forward, send the right hip back, relax the head. And straighten both legs, roll both shoulders down the back, and then roll the elbows down toward the floor, widening across the upper back and shoulders. Press into the index fingers and thumbs even more. Breathe slow and deep. Beautiful. Walk the feet up to the hands. Bend the knees, tuck the chin, roll yourself up to standing. Reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale the arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. 
exhale down. One more. And then just remain standing, closing the eyes, maybe turning the palms forward, just to open the chest a little more. And feel the feet. Feel the breath. Getting tall as you inhale. Sinking down as you exhale. Start to shift weight into your left foot, feeling the body hovering over that foot. Open the eyes softly. Resting your gaze on the spot in front of you. Lift the right leg up. Either clasp your hands behind the back of the thigh, or if you're able, you can bring your hands around the foot. We're going to straighten that leg. So if you can hold on to the foot and still have the leg straight, go ahead. Otherwise, just hold on behind the back of the leg and straighten. And then lift your chest and roll your shoulders down. And get the leg to come as high as you can. And release. Close the eyes, feel the weight in your feet, notice if it feels different in the right and left feet. And then start to intentionally sink weight into the right foot, letting the whole body hover over that foot. Relax the belly, breathe deep and slow. Feel your breath, even as we open our eyes. Stay connected to the slow rhythmic breath. Then we'll lift that left leg and either bring the hands behind the back of the leg and straighten the leg or bring the hands around the foot and straighten the leg. And then try to lift the leg as high as you can. And release. Close the eyes. Feel the feet again. Inhale, arms up, and then clasp the hands with your opposite thumb on the outside, the non-habitual cross. Bring the hands behind the back of the head. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Let the elbows aim toward the wall behind you. Press down into the feet, pull up through the thighs. Exhale, pull up and in with the navel. Pressing the hands into the back of the head. Now as you inhale, you might also experiment with pressing the head into the hands. And then exhale, pressing the hands into the head.
and release the hands down, bending the knees, touching the ground, lower, slowly onto the buttocks. And then come all the way onto your back. And we'll end with a plow pose. So if your neck doesn't like that position, you can just have your hands under your hips and your legs up in the air. Otherwise, we're going to rock on the spine and flip the legs all the way over, bringing the hands to support the back, rolling the shoulders under so that we're on the shoulders, not the neck. Ideally, if you're doing it right, it won't hurt your neck, but if it does, please don't do it. Just have the legs straight up in the air. And then if your feet do touch the ground behind you, then activate your feet and legs, pressing your thighs up toward the sky. If your feet are touching down, you can clasp your hands and again, do so in the non-habitual clasp. If your feet do not touch the ground, please keep your hands on your hips for support. Thighs toward the sky, heels reaching back. Breath steady. And then bend the knees toward the forehead, bring the hands to support the hips as you lift the feet and lower down. Feet to the ground, lift the hips, tuck the tailbone under, lengthen your spine along the ground, release the legs, shake them out. If you're having, if you're working with an eye pillow, you can place that on your eyes now. And then we'll all just let the arms rest out away from the body with the palms up. Let the legs relax out away from each other. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the weight of the body into the ground. Inhale deep. Exhale out of the mouth, release the jaw, let the lips slightly part. Inhale deep. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind. And then finally, even releasing the breath. Letting go of any effort to breathe and just let breath happen. Bring your full attention to wherever you feel the breath most easily in your body. And just park your awareness there, resting in the feel of the breath. mind wanders, that's fine. When you notice the mind has wandered, just bring it back to the breath again and again. Deeply relaxed, letting go, letting go, letting
Breathe into your heart, your fingers and toes. Reach the arms overhead. Take a deep breath. Stretch long. Hug the knees to the chest. Rock gently from side to side. Feeling the ground massaging the back. Come center, rub hand to hand and foot to foot. And then roll over onto your side, resting your head on your underside arm, resting your body on the ground, resting your awareness in the fruits of your practice. Taking in how it feels. Maybe having some appreciation for yourself for showing up and taking care of your body and your heart and your mind through these practices. And then slowly make your way up to sitting. Let your head come up last. Come into any comfortable seated position. Sinking down into the sit bones. Lifting tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Inhale, the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deep, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in and let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. Namaste.